Hi there, KB. It's May 14th, 2020, and I am here with you for a quick logic review lesson. I can tell you that this lesson is going to be all about the new skill we learned yesterday, which is QU working together to make the qu sound. So, just like all of our quick logic lessons, we are going to just focus our attention on reading words and spelling words. We're going to read six practice words and spell six practice words. Half of the words we are going to work with today are going to start with the sound qua. So we will see Q and U working together. So let's take a look at our first practice word. And before you even read it, I want to show you Q, U at the beginning. Remember, Q does not say qua by itself. Q only says qua when U is with it. So these two letters, Q and U, are kind of like best friends. Whenever you want to make a qua sound, you're going to have Q, U. Now remember that U is not working as a vowel sound here. It's just helping out the Q. So when most of the words we look at, when we have a qua sound, we're going to have a vowel sound right after that U. It looks a little funny because we're not used to seeing one vowel with another vowel after it, but make sure we remember that this U is just working with this Q to say qua. So let's do this word together. Let's see if we can finger spell. Remember, Q U goes on one finger to say qua. Ready? One, two, three. Qua, I, k, quick. This is the word quick. We hear qua in the beginning, we have i in the middle, and then we have to use ck because that i is one of our short vowel sounds, and we always use ck for k after a short vowel sound. Here's your next qua word. Let's see if you can do this one all by yourself. Ready? Try it out. Go ahead. All right, this word is qua e n queen. So we have qua at the beginning, q u. Our vowel pair e e is making that long e sound. And n at the end, queen. A lot of these words are the same words we looked at yesterday, and that's okay because we're still practicing for one of the first times with q u. Go ahead and try this one all by yourself as well. This word is qua i o quill. We have qua and then a short i sound i, and that short i sound i is telling us that we have to double the l at the end because we have o after a short vowel sound at the end of a one syllable word. Okay, the next three practice words you're going to read do not have qua. Let's see if you can get them anyway. Go ahead and try out this one. This is one we've looked at a few times. Word is cur ouch crouch. Okay, we have cur consonant blend cr. Our vowel pair o u is saying ow, and then we use ch. We don't use tch because there's no short vowel sound. You know that our vowel pairs don't make short sounds, so this sound ow is going to have ch after it for that ch sound. Let's take a look at another one. Go ahead and try this word.
Okay. We have Kerr, Ooh, mm, Kroon. We have CR at the beginning, OO in the middle, Ooh, and N at the end, Kroon. This is your last practice spelling word or reading word. Go ahead and see if you can read it. This word is sp sp eh, oh, spell. It's one of our double L words again because we have a short sound in the middle with all after it at the end of a one syllable word. Okay, we're going to move on to part two, which is where the two spell the word for me. So I'll say a word, you can echo it right back, finger spell it, and then write it, and then after each word, we'll check them together. So your first just like our reading word, our so we'll hear quaff at the beginning. Remember, we're not just writing Q for quaff. We have to write Q U for the sound quaff. You can get this one. Your first word is quest. Quest. All right, let's see if you got it. The word quest is quest. Quest. So when we hear about this word, it goes on three fingers. We have qu at the beginning for Q U. We have e in the middle, and then we have our consonant blends at the end. Quest. Let's try another qu word. Do your best to finger spell and write the word quack. Quack. Just like the sound of duck makes. All right, the word quack. Qua ack. Quack. Here's our qua at the beginning. Please check to make sure you had Q-U for the sound qua, not just Q. Then we have a, our short A sound, and that short sound is telling us to use CK at the end for k. Remember, we use CK only after short sounds, just like a in quack. So make sure you had Q-U-A-C-K. All right, your next word the word quit, quit. All right, let's see if you got it. The word quit looks like this. We have qua it quit. That word quit is our last qua word. So please make sure you had q u for the sound qua in the word quit. Now let's just do three practice words and then we are done. Your next word is the word crop. Crop. So we are done with our QU words. Let's try to show me crop. So 
here it is. Crop, that's our blend cur at the beginning, CR, ah, and then p, crop. All right, so we only have two left. Please try to get these words and remember the rules for both of them. They both have a rule at the end that we want to try to follow. Your next word is skill. Skill. All right, so let's see if you got it. When we take a look at the word skill, which is a word we've done a few times, we have our blend sk at the beginning. Remember, we use sk before e, i, and y. And we have an i after sk, saying i. And that short vowel sound is telling us, just like in other words we practiced earlier, that we have to double this l at the end. We don't want to forget about our double rule. Because we have an old sound, end of a one-syllable word, and we're going to double the L. If you did not double the L, please fix it before we do our last word. Your last word of the day is the word slick. We have soul, i, k, slick. Consonant blend, SL at the beginning. We have a short vowel sound in the middle, which is telling us to remember to use the k. All right, KB, that is the end of our lightning quick review lesson. I hope you got some good practice in, and we'll do some more logic tomorrow.